watching Cron 4 News at 8. There's a solution for gun violence. You know, we're still losing a lot of lives. A hundred mothers have to go to the cemetery in Oakland. How sad is that? That breaks my heart. Now at 8, remembering the lives lost to gun violence and looking for solutions to stop the shootings. Thank you so much for joining us here on Cron 4 News at 8 o'clock tonight. I'm Justine Waldman. I'm Jonathan McCall. This weekend, vigils are being held all across America for the National Day of Remembrance of Murder Victims. Cron 4's Amanda Harry live for us tonight in San Francisco with the mission that organizers of this event say they're now trying to accomplish. Amanda. The organizer tells me she's diligently fighting for better laws. She says her son was lost to gun violence 25 years ago, and she's still fighting for change. It doesn't matter how old your son is or how long ago it was. That pain never goes away. Maddie Scott's son, George C. Scott, was killed 25 years ago, but she's still fighting for change. She says gun violence is one of the leading causes of death for black and brown men, ages 14 to 35. Her son was 24. We're tired of going to funerals. We want to go to graduations. Her son was actually at a graduation party in the Western Edition neighborhood of San Francisco. A fight started. He took the people involved outside. It escalated and he was shot five times with a semi-automatic weapon. He had a son that turned six the day after his death. Scott had to tell him his father was gone. And I had to be the bearer of that news saying that um, your dad died. I couldn't tell him how his dad died. And the scream I heard on the phone from my grandson, it's a scream that wakes me up every day to do this work. Now, she continues to fight for more gun control laws, working to raise the age to purchase a gun, creating longer waiting periods, and trying to ban ghost guns. Ghost guns right now is the leading cause of death. A ghost gun is a privately made firearm that does not have a serial number. That was a topic of focus at the vigil, which drew dozens of people, as well as Democratic leader Christine Pelosi, SF Police Chief William Scott, and SFDA Chesa Boudin. Scott says it's still an uphill battle, pointing out that Oakland reached 100 homicides last week. 100 mothers have to go to a cemetery in Oakland. How sad is that? That breaks my heart. That breaks my heart. In addition to events like this, Scott also works with the Brady campaign against gun violence in order to try to bring about more change. Live in San Francisco, Amanda Harry, Cron 4 News. So Amanda, is there anything specific that the group is working on right now? I know you mentioned the ghost guns, but is there anything else other than that? That is really their biggest issue right now, ghost guns, because they say that's what most people are being killed by. They want to see those ghost guns banned across the entire state. So this is a big fight for them right now. That is Cron 4's Amanda Harry live for us this evening in San Francisco. Amanda, thank you.